Hello, I'm an, I'm Hasita. I'm an expert witness for the prosecution team. So I'm gonna be talking about the planning phase. So I wrote like note cards which helped me learn a lot of new information. And it was also a good opportunity to go in depth on a big issue that we're facing. And a research report, it also gave me like a chance to improve my research and writing skills and I I got to experience like how to organize my information more. So I felt like the planning phase was a bit difficult, challenging, and interesting. And especially having to prove knowingly and willingly aspect of my research. Yeah. Hello, I'm Torin, and I'm a judge for the mock trial. One of my favorite parts of the entire project was when us judges would teach the witnesses and attorneys all that they would need to know for the mock trial. We would teach them objections, motions, vocabulary, procedures, decorum, and etiquettes. And it was both a challenge for us judges and probably for the witnesses and attorneys too because we would get this information, we would learn it, and immediately teach it to people who've never seen it before. So it was a big learning process for the both of us, but it was also really, really fun for all of us. Um, yeah, totally. My name is Lenora, and I'm one of the defense attorneys. I'm one of the lead defense attorneys. And my favorite part of trial was during the actual trial process. Um, it was really stressful going into it, even though we had prepared for it for so long. And it was really scary at first, because you never know when to call objections, or whether you'll be right, or whether you're wrong. And But eventually you get over it, and it becomes really fun. You get to collaborate with all your team members, and just asking questions and learning inf new information that you get to use later in court is also really cool. And another aspect of court that I really like is that you never know what's going to happen. So. You're, you could feel like you're doing really good and then someone on the other team could say something and it could completely change the way the rest of the court is going to go. And I thought that was really interesting and really fun. And overall, I had a really good experience with my team members and I um, really hope that other classes enjoy this in the future as well. Hi, I'm Maya and I'm the lead prosecution attorney. Um, my favorite part was also the trial process. It was um, it is such a great thing. I loved all of the improv, all of the challenges that we had faced. That just makes it so much better. Um, it was almost like a big sigh of relief the moment we stepped into actual court because we'd been working on this for months and months and it was felt really good to finally present everything that we had been working on. Hi, my name is Izzy and I'm another judge and one of my favorite things about mock trial was definitely when all the judges could get together and put all of their knowledge together when um, an ejection or motion was called so you put all of your knowledge and like to one bowl and you like whisper amongst yourself and then you hopefully like pick the right path and it's super like fun and like a lot of good teamwork that comes with it. Um, we would like to keep to talk, we would love to keep talking to you about this but we me and Torin have to go find the final verdict between the human race and planet Earth. Um, I'm Jenny Groh. I am the SSF and also the seventh grade math team lead here at LMS. And we started this um, game at the beginning of the year as a math game of the month. And it's kind of evolved into its own tradition where now once a month we'll get together, we'll have a math game where we take multiple classes and we bring them together in the collaborative space or the cafeteria or next month we're in the courtyard. Y'all just don't know that. But we'll, we'll take multiple classrooms and put them together to where they have the same shared experience. So it, yes, it's about math. Yes, it's about engaging activities. There's a lot of music and hype and a lot of fun that we look forward to. But really our goal was to um, bring in some, some different opportunities for people to meet in classes that they normally don't interact with. 
Um, we're about being inclusive. It's about giving them the same experience, like I said, that we all get to share and talk about. And I'm going to let them talk about it. These kids are from all different teachers and all different uh, classifications of math throughout our seventh grade campus. So Mia, you want to go first? Tell yeah. me. Hi, I'm Mia Brasso. I'm in Pace Math. And my favorite game of the month has been the Pirates of the Caribbean Breakout because we got to um, solve equations to uh, op take these like, codes, and then we had to open the boxes so we could escape the pirate ship. And every single one of the math classes could participate, and everyone got to help. Also, we got candy at the end. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lauren Marie Matula. I like to play with my friends in other class. I like to win math games or fun. Um, hi, my name's Clay Wright. My favorite math game was uh, probably the card board a carnival. The reason why is because we got to work as partners and got to pick our own partners. We spent like three days on it. We used different supplies. We got to pick any game we wanted to. Whenever it was the last day, we finished it all up. Then the next day, the Pace kids came and were able to play our games, which made it, made it even more fun than what it already was. Uh, my name is Joan Royal. I'm in Pace Math. And my favorite was uh, also probably the Cardboard Carnival because we got to go and we got to be with kids from the other math classes who we don't normally get to be with. And it's fun getting to be with all the math kids instead of just being confined to your own classroom instead of, you know, being with other people. Um, yeah. Hello, my name is Noah. Um, my favorite math game of the month was the Cardboard Carnival. Uh, the main reason why I liked the Cardboard Carnival was because the fact that we got to create the game instead of being the ones that were playing the game, we were the ones running it. It was also a lot of fun watching as the people came by and had, and had played our games and enjoyed them. And it was also very fun trying to ace a game around probability and and trying to find one way for somebody to win. Hello, my name is Nikhila Smart, and what I like about the math game in 7th grade collaborative space was that it was challenging team working with others from other classes. Very fun to do with to very fun to do as a group in this in a school. I love the working and math problem solving. That was so challenging and I still beat it because I am smart and I could teach others to be smart too. Thank you for, for the board meeting invite and math game problems. Michaela Ann Smart. For all the students who are here presenting, um, I hope you saw the smiling faces of the board members. And when you go home tonight, um, I hope you can congratulate yourselves and know you all did an excellent job of representing yourself and your campus. Um, I know after I present sometimes, especially here on the board meeting, I go, oh, I wish I had said it this way. I wish I had done this. Don't second guess yourself. We are all impressed with you. You're phenomenal. Thank you all for presenting for us this evening. All right, we will move on to the next part of our agenda, 